very excited to see the new release of the El Camino movie, uh, the Breaking Bad movie. I was a huge fan and I'm excited to do a couple of projects that are Breaking Bad related. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do an I'm the one who knocks Walter White backlit sign using LED lights. Okay, I'm pretty excited about this project. Uh, again, I'm a big uh, Breaking Bad fan, so uh, it was cool to do something. Uh, I have another video on a silhouette wall clock using an old vinyl record. Uh, this particular video I wanted to do as a silhouette backlit project. So I have a file here, and I'm basically using uh, one of the catchphrases that Walter White had said during uh, a couple of the episodes, I am the one who knocks. No, I am the one who knocks. Now, I, what I'm doing is, let me uh, turn off some layers here so that this uh, makes a little bit more sense. Um, there's two projects here. There's a black PVC layer, and then there is a box layer. Now the box layer is actually gonna be made out of uh, three quarter inch HDPE, and the black PVC that I'm using is quarter inch, okay? So I, I basically laid both layers out for both projects on the same file so I can make sure everything matches up properly. Now, the reason this is reversed is because I have a, let me turn on the box layer. This box layer is actually the light box, so that's gonna sit and what's gonna mount to the wall. And then on the inside profile facing inward is the LED light tape. So we're using um, blue LEDs for this and that's gonna shine inward. And then anywhere that there's a cutout here, uh, the light is gonna shine through the black PVC, okay? Now, in order to make sure that everything stays lined up and centered on this, I needed to put some alignment pinholes, okay? So on the top of the light box surface, I have eighth inch holes that go down three eighths of an inch. Uh, and then I'm using eighth inch uh, diameter by half inch long dowel pins. Now, because my PVC is only a quarter inch, I can't go any deeper than really half of that. So I'm, I'm letting the pin stick out an eighth of an inch so that I can align the PVC up to the HDP after when, when this is done. Uh, and then I'm just going to use double side tape along the top edge to hold the two pieces together. All right. So that's what the alignment holes are. Now on the back, uh, box, light box part, I can machine from the top down. But because I need the alignment pins to mate up with it, I actually have to machine the alignment pins on the PVC layer uh, on the back side. All right. So that means I have to flip this job over and machine everything out from that side. So when you look at the PVC layer, this is basically what I'm doing. Uh, I, I took the original, all the artwork that I have here, which was originally like this. And because I need to put the holes of the hole pockets in on the bottom side of this project, I figured I don't have to do it as a two side project. So I can simply flip everything over and cut everything out uh, from the bottom side and cut all the way through. Okay, so that's why this is reversed. Then I have a profile on the outside with rounded corners that will finish off the uh, the profile for the PVC, okay? Now, from there I have my box layer. And what this is is three quarter inch HDPE. So I'm gonna run an inside profile around the, these vectors here. And then this middle piece is gonna be basically waste. I'll, I'll, I'll discard that. And then we're gonna run a profile around this rectangle. And so when we're done, it's, it's basically gonna be just a, a thin frame with quarter inch walls. I'll have the uh, four alignment pin uh, holes. And then I have these two larger holes here, three eighths of an inch. I have some uh, brass threaded inserts for quarter 20 threaded rod. And what I'll do is I will screw in those threaded inserts from the bottom of this HDPE layer. And that way the threaded ins uh, I'll, I'll put inch and a half threaded inserts in there and that's what'll hold it to the wall. Uh, and when you do that, all you do, it's pretty simple actually, is uh, you just measure the distance between the two uh, centers of, of these holes. 
and add a sixteenth of an inch to either side, and that's where you want to pre-drill a hole in your wall. And by doing that, what happens is since the hole is off by a sixteenth of an inch, when you push this into the wall, it, it keeps tension on it, and the serrated edges from the uh, threaded rod act to grip the drywall and and hold it. Now this might not work if you have plaster walls and or you know some different material, but in a wood wall or in a in a uh, drywall uh, wall. You shouldn't have any problem at all, uh, you know, using that method, and that way it'll just stay in place, and you know, it'll it'll work nicely. So that's what those two holes are for. And uh, so my tool pass, I grouped them here. So I've got my black PVC tool pass, I've got my HDPE with using a 16th inch bit, and my HDPE using a quarter inch bit. Now all of the black PVC tool pass are done with a 16th inch end mill. So when I switch and put the HDPE on the machine. I don't want to have to do a tool change yet. I want to make sure I can get anything that I need done with the 16th inch bit out of the way. Then I switch to a quarter inch bit to do the rest of the uh, of the cuts on the HDP. All right, so let me, uh, let's go over what this is going to look like. So first thing we're going to do here is the uh, dowel pins in the PVC. Uh, so I'm going to go to preview and I have the color set to black because that's what the PVC I'm using is black. So first thing I'm going to do is put the four dowel pins in. So you can see there are four holes. They go down an eighth of an inch. And those are for the alignment. Again, we're looking at the back of the PVC. Then we're going to do the letters. The letters I'm pocketing. Uh, I could do a profile on the letters, but because there's a lot of small segments, as I do a profile, there's, that means there's going to be a lot of these little waste pieces and I really don't want them flying out or worse yet, jamming up the uh, cutter and causing it to snap since it's only a 16th of an inch. So it's gonna take a little bit longer to pocket, but it's safer because I'm removing all the material in between the letters and I don't have to worry about any hangers that uh, get caught and get jammed up in there. Um, the face is actually all done with profiles. The pieces are, a little bigger. I've got a couple small ones, but I'm not as concerned about those. I'll have some double side tape uh, holding the PVC down. So a lot of these little parts are going to stick uh, with the double side tape. And I'll make sure that I put a few pieces vertically uh, in this area specifically, and then probably one piece on this side. Um, I don't want double side tape if I can help it in these letters area, because I, when I go to peel this off layer later, I don't want these little uh, fragile areas like the A and the M and the H to uh, break apart. So I'm going to try to put my double side tape on this edge, maybe on the bottom edge, and then a few pieces in where the face is going to be. Okay. Now if I double click the waste material here on the face, you'll start to see the silhouette appear um, a little bit nicer than it does. Um, so that's basically what we're going to be left with is is the uh, the Walter White silhouette, okay? And uh, then because my HDP light box is underneath it, that's going to flood it with blue light, and so all these cutouts are going to appear um, with blue light coming through them. Now if I now this again, we're we're machining the back of the PVC, so if I hold my mouse button down and drag it, I can flip this over. So this is essentially the top of the PVC, okay? So that's that's what you're gonna see from the front of the material. Now I'm gonna do a PVC profile cutout. So when I cut that, uh, that's gonna get rid of these pieces and it's gonna give me a finished rounded edge, okay? So that's that's what the PVC project is gonna look like. Now, if I go ahead and reset the preview, now we'll take a look. Um, my HDP that I'm using is white. So we'll set the material color um, to white. And now we'll go ahead and we'll do the alignment pins for the HDP. It's funny, I, I set it to white, but it's, oh, it's white on the back side. Oh, okay, because we're, we're machining on the top. So now we're looking at the front of the HDP. So I machine the four dowel pin holes. Now keep in mind, I have my material set up over here still for a quarter inch, which is the PVC. So that's why um, when you look at the preview, those alignment pin holes are showing as going all the way through. Uh, technically, they're only going to go down three eighths of an inch, so they won't be through holes because the material is three quarter inch thick. 
So my tool paths are set with the correct depths, but I didn't want to reset my job uh, thickness because I'm going to do the black PVC first. So I could come back here after I'm done with the PVC tool pass, change the material uh, thickness to three quarters of an inch and then redo the tool pass for the uh, HDP. But either way, it's, it's going to work fine. So I've got my dowel pins in there. Then I'm going to switch to a quarter inch end mill and I'm going to mill in the threaded insert pockets. Uh, then I'm going to do the inside profile of the HDP, which is this area here. And I'm going to double click. That's going to be waste. And then I'm going to do the uh, HDP profile cutout uh, along the outside. And that's going to look like this. And that's waste. So basically, if you're looking at the top, this is the light box frame that's going to go on the wall. So it's, uh, it's only a quarter inch thick on these edges. It doesn't need to be any, any bigger than that. It's not really supporting a lot of weight. On the inside edges here are where the LED strips are going to go and they're going to shine inward. And then again, the threaded inserts in these two big holes with uh, threaded uh, uh, shafts running out the back that's going to hold it to the wall. And then the dowel pins in the four holes. So it's two parts to this job. And when the two mate together, uh, and you turn the light on, it's going to be a pretty cool looking project. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any specific questions about anything in particular that I did here, please leave me a comment below on this video, or you can email me. Um, the link for that is below as well. And, uh, you know, I hope you uh, get a chance to watch the Breaking Bad movie, uh, whether you're a fan or not. I'm, it's, it's a good show. It's worth getting hooked on for uh, a little bit of Netflix binge watching.